Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 25? 25. <laughs> I know, and I just started the night. It's episode 25, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I uh, just wanted to catch up on... Yeah, thank you. I needed the extra help. <laughs> My 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 co I do have coffee, which is a plus. It is unwhiskied, which is a minus. But you know, we make do with what we have. All right. So, uh, in between in between the last stream and this one, I went over to the card shark and played played some games. Tried to earn some money, and apparently, after winning your third hand in a row, she quits. And just goes, ah, you know what? It, it's time to take a break. I mean, I know you're trying to hustle for some money, but uh, I, I guess I'm done. Here, have a card for your effort. <sighs> so, uh, I did get a nice card. She has not played another game since. I tried to do some races by uh, persuading the guy to, to let me do some runs, but I, I, I haven't quite gotten the skill down on the swoop bike racing so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep playing Pazak off screen to earn money because I need money uh, right now I currently have uh, a little over 1900 and it's going to take 1500 to buy back uh, Uzuma call it's uh, girlfriend so that way she's not uh owned by the the dude at the bar um and that's assuming i don't try to gamble for her with a down payment of a thousand credits which is what got me in this position in the first place because i gambled and lost and didn't have a save game to to restore from so i i mean what are the odds i'm going to be that unlucky twice in a row Never mind. Why did I say that? <laughs> I'm just going to pay the $1,500. Um, or, or, we'll see, because I, I've got I've got a couple of missions, like, uh, i got to do this droid escort mission. I don't know if he's going to pay me any money for that. Uh, if he does, great. If not, there there's still the bounties that we got to go pick up, and if you remember from last week, uh, the guy down the hall that way, I, I I wish you could see, no matter what I do, I can't seem to get the mouse cursor to show up on the stream. I wish I knew what was up with that. But uh the guy the guy down there <laughs> at the at the station at the other end said we needed to talk to uh the, the, the lady over for uh the exchange. Not for the exchange, um for Zerka Corporation. Nah, they're all criminals. Uh so that might uh that might also earn us a little bit of money doing some uh, doing some of that kind of work. So let's take care of this droid escort mission. Let's go round up a couple of bounties, and then we'll see where we're at monetarily. Because I have a funny feeling this droid is not going to be peaceably uh, escorted over to the Athlorian's place. Yeah, given that uh, Zerku Corporation tried to hire us to to steal the droid, uh, since they didn't hire us, I'm pretty sure they hired somebody else. And you know, I'll sell your brutes. That's okay. You won't need them by the time we're done. <laughs> and I'm a good guy this game. Just imagine if I was playing on the dark side. <laughs> All right, let's start. Let's talk to this guy and get this show on the road. Greetings. All right, what's in the bay? Or now nah, we'll we'll jump right into Chodo. Habat sent me to help deliver the replacement restoration droid. Yes, he sent word ahead of you. Please enter. They're waiting for you inside. Is this like the royal day, or is this like the day that I was just assuming was going to show up? Where's my crew? Okay, I need my crew. Random spacesuit is random. All right. Any uh, a any any lockers? No. What's in the airlock terminal? <laughs> or two. 
Open the bay door. I'm sorry, Yanon. I can't do that for you. Oh, wait. I'm mixing up my sci-fi. All right. Up this way. Real quick. Partly because I love filling in maps and partly because I, I am curious. All right. So bay controls are over there. That's the droid. Okay, so the only way in is going to be to break down the door. Not what I want just yet. Alright. What you guys got? How you doing? Roger here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, discount on Solo. Yes, we're all pleased to see you. Chodo Havad has said that another would arrive to help us. We... Excuse me, Master. We're about to be cut off by additional visitors. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, come on with your right stuff, walk. Who are you? How did you get in here? How do you think they got in here? All right. Uh, what do we want to do for these random thugs? All right. I am going to toss a grenade, do a stun, activate a shield. And then queue up a flurry. Change him from aggressive to ranged. Ah, oh, fine. I, I. It keeps giving me the option to select aggressive, ranged, etc. But for the life of me, it does not seem to uh, to really offer any good way to permanently change it, and that that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. All right. Uh, let's toss a frag grenade that way. Let's go ahead and pop a shield. And then dash off a couple of attacks. And you, you are going to versus speed, force valor, energy resistance, Force Barrier, and Battle Meditation. <laughs> I hope you got the Force Points for it. Ah, of course you do. What is it? Bam! Lady, what are you doing? Are you kidding me? Something, something, best laid plans, right? More where that came from. Come on. I'm going to spend more time chasing you down than I am... I'm grateful for your assistance. That was most terrible. I wonder who... An assassin's tool? It's no surprise that hired killers would carry weapons such as these. Uh... <laughs> well, I could point out the obvious that it looks like it's been heavily modified. An assassin with a gun? No surprise there. I will show it to Lieutenant Gren. Let's go with the, uh, snooty smarty route and, uh do our awareness bit. Interesting, I believe you are correct, though I am by no means an expert. Such modifications are illegal on Citadel Station. Lieutenant Gren should be informed so that he might get something. But more importantly, you must take the droid back to Chota Habat. I fear there may be more attacks if we do not. Alright. <laughs> Lie. Of course I'll go to Chota. Because Zerka should be giving us a uh, good price. If we want to accumulate the dark side points, I mean, that would get us the money. I mean, I could straight up go, yeah, I'm going to turn it into the Zerk Corporation. But no, I promised to uh, to the Ithlorians, so let's... Uh, Alright. Journal entry added, XP. And I received the modified holdout blaster. Alright, I want the rest of the stuff. A stealth field enhance. Ooh. Um. Oh, and a level. I got a level. I got a level. I got a level. Hey, 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 hey. All right, no. This isn't the menu I want to be in. This is the one I want to be in because... Stealth field generator. Oh, that's a... What's the prerequisite? 
stealth plus four? Or is it the armor proficiency light? Which which does she not have that doesn't allow her to do that? Alright. Um, skills. Stealth. She's got 11 ranks in stealth, so that's not it. Is it the light armor thing? It looks like it might be the light armor thing. Uh, blaster pistols, lightsabers, melee weapons, Jedi defense, force focus, Jedi sense, dueling, uh, force sensitive. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right. Uh, when she levels up next, I might have to give her the light armor proficiency because that, uh, ooh. can I keep the modified holdout blaster? I mean, not that I feel a need to keep it, but yes, I do feel it. Never mind. Who am I kidding? I need it. I need to keep it. But this would bump up her stealth another four. And that never hurts. All right. Do I want to... Um, do I want to do the level up now? I want to do the level up now, because in... Knights of the Old Republic 1, we held off on leveling up because you didn't start off gaining levels as Jedi, whereas you do now. Uh, on the other hand, you do have the option to prestige in this game. That wasn't an option before. Um, so, I, yeah, now nah, let me go ahead and level up because I should be able to do... Uh, yeah. I should still be able to prestige at level 15 at the earliest. Alright, skills. Which skills? Um, oh, that reminds me. When I get my next feat, I'm probably going to take repair as a feat. Because a lot of the crafting skills at the bench cue off of repair. And even when you let somebody else go to the bench, as long as you're in the party... They go off of your skills. That's one of those things I wish I had known earlier. Uh, because if I did know that earlier, I would have made repair a class skill at one of the initial feats and been dumping points into it. Also, apparently awareness doesn't help as much as I thought it did. So I'm not going to worry too much about leveling that up that much. So let's go. I definitely, I still need computer use. I still need persuade. I still need security and treat Injury. Oh, and that leaves me one more for awareness. Um, and actually, treat injury I don't need to keep uh, jumping up quite as much as I have, except it does help with some of the uh, implant crafting. So it's one of those things that uh, some of the guides say you should keep up at your level, you know, concurrent with your level and others like level it up two out of every three levels that kind of thing I, I leave that to your own but uh i i wouldn't mind dumping more of these skill points into repair and getting that up but uh that might be when i grab my next feet oh speaking of the next feet oh i have decisions do i want to do that repair thing or do i want to max out Two weapon fighting. So this uh, this would reduce the attack penalty for using a double bladed weapon or two weapons, and that means that as long as I'm using a balanced weapon in my offhand, it would be no penalty for the main attack and only minus two for the next attack, and my. Uh, strength would, would, and base attack would over, over, overcompensate, overcome. One of those two would counterbalance that. Um, and Master Flurry. Master Flurry would let me flurry with no penalty. So between the two weapon giving me a bonus and the flurry giving me a bonus, that's a couple of extra hits. Oh, let's max out the flurry. I like using that and doing it with no penalty because that, that's been giving me a minus one to defense and for three seconds after. 
and a minus two penalty to all attacks that round. So now I'm not taking the defense hit. I'm getting the extra attack in. Yeah, I'll do this, then this, then the repair. Oh. But the repair skill sure would come in handy. Nope, 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 nope. I'll see if I can figure out another way to get minions to do the uh, repair type crafting. Let's uh, let's do the flurry. That's my job. I have a certain set of skills. I need to stick with them. All right. Powers. All right. Uh, first and foremost. Okay, so I do have Effect Mind, which allows you to do some uh, persuade options and conversations. All right. Dominate Mind is always nice. That that would give me some extra conversation options too. Uh, Night Valor would also be nice. And Stasis. What I really want, yeah, that's what I really want is that Force Whirlwind. Because uh, then I get to give him one-third my character level and damage every two seconds and render them unable to take any attack action. Any action. Attack. Attack action. Attack action. It's a new word, I promise. Or at least it is now. Uh... I got some fast talking coming up. On the other hand, a better stun would always be nice too. Now, let's let's do the force. Oh, mm. Mm. All right, I'll get more powers in a little bit. Let's uh let's do the dominate mine. That gives me some more options in a conversation. I just hope these don't lead to dark side options in a conversation. I mean, I'm kind of thinking with Dominate Mind, that might be the way that ends up going. Ah, no. Let's do the War One. We'll come back to Dominate later. Alright, and accept. Okay, there we go. Any other bodies to search? Come on now. Surely one of you has something, right? All right. Uh, do you have anything to say about these nasty things that have transpired? Still, death might have been preferable to the amount of paperwork I'm gonna have to fill out for this. Are you kidding me? You're worried about paperwork. All this just went down, and you're worried about paperwork. Uh, light, dark, it's all great. No, 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 no. Uh, that madam right there, of the one hand, she is the gray option floating around this place. <laughs> I'm just looking for anything else that might be left uh, unintended and in need of securing because I will happily secure it in my inventory if they need me to. I don't see any other options. What do you got? Trust your judgment, master. Lead the way. Okay. Um Oh. Oh, here I was thinking that I was going to have to actually, like, literally walk all that way with him. I'm glad by your safe return. My people sent word of what happened at the docks. I am yours to command, master. Good, good. Our computer systems have been prepared for your arrival. You may begin transferring your data into it immediately. I shall do so now, Master Habak. Farewell, and farewell to you as well. I am grateful for your help in this matter. Please accept this gift as a gift for my people. Is it money? I like money. That's enough for me. I'm going now. Is there anything else I can do to help you? Thank you. Now what? Ah, let's go with I found this blaster. He seems like he might know what's going on. I'm sorry. I'm not familiar with this sort of thing. Perhaps you should take it to Lieutenant Gren. He may be of more help. All right. Uh... Is there anything else? I mean, other than paperwork. <laughs> this incident of the docks confirms one of my fears. The gunmen were from the exchange. Zerka has hired the criminal syndicate to work against us. Whoa, logical leap there? 
Long uh, have I suspected the Zerka and Exchange work together, the former supplying manufactured arms to be sold via the latter's black market channels. Eh, okay. Maybe that, uh. Now with the TSF keeping a closer eye on Zerka activities, the corporation has turned to the Exchange to be its uh, fist on Citadel Station. Alright, um... So what is there to be done? They must be stopped, that's enough for me. Eh, let's ask the question first. What is there to be done? I have tried to meet with the leader of the exchange here, a quarren called Lopix Lusk. He has refused my every invitation and allows no one inside the exchange suites. I fear he does not take us seriously. The Jedi, though, are renowned warriors and diplomats both. Perhaps he might speak with Lopak and show him the value of a restored terrace. I told you I'm not a Jedi. So you said. Again, I am sorry. All right, I'll go talk to him. I am most grateful for your assistance. I will guide my thoughts towards your safety. And Lopex as well. I wish no harm. You might wish no harm. Journal entry added. XP received. Items received. Jowl shape perception gloves. Well, okay. Are these uh, perception gloves. Plus one awareness, plus one dex, plus one wisdom. Ooh, that could be useful. What do I have on now? All right. Uh, ooh, never mind. That's a better dex bonus and a better computer use and security. As much as as much as I love the plus one to awareness and wisdom. My wisdom score again. 15. Plus one wisdom would bring that up to 16. That would change that plus two to a plus three on a bunch of different stats. On the other hand, computer use and security would take a, a, a bigger hit. Hmm. Although I do keep those skills. That's a tough one. What does Madam of the One Hand have on her one hand? Detonator gloves. Fort and demolitions. She doesn't need demolitions, but she can benefit from awareness and dexterity. Although, since she's only got the one hand, can like she wear one glove and I wear the other, and I get the benefit of both the gloves I've got and the no, doesn't work like that. Okay. <laughs> and I gotta get her uh, some light armor proficiency. When's her next level? Ooh, not for a little while. Yeah, I know. I know. I kind of wish it worked that way. Alright, do you have anything else to say to me? Lopex Slusk is difficult to meet with, is he not? I will continue to guide my thoughts towards your success. Um. Oh, good. I can ask him about one of the people that I was that I have a bounty on anyway. Do you know anything about a man named Batono? Batono. I'm sorry, I admit that name is unfamiliar to me. I must admit I have little interaction with the other residents of this area, however. Uh I thought you might know of him, given his dislike of Zerka. If it is true that he was no friend of Zerka, I wish it were true that I knew of him. But alas I do not. I am sorry, I cannot be more helpful. All right. Hello again, Anon Junior. How may I be of service? Could you give me? Could you give me information? Is there anything you can tell me about this weapon? Nope. <sighs> Do you have somebody in your enclave who could give me information? Actually, that's a really good question. Alright, there is the useless crowd standing over there doing nothing of any great importance. They're the ones who all kind of told me the same thing. Um, no, that's the big room. This is, there we go. What about you? Welcome to the Restorations Project Vivarium. Um... No. Okay. 
I thought you'd be more useful. What about the cops? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Lieutenant Grimm probably is going to be the one that I end up having to go to for uh, information on the pistol. The question is, is while I'm here, do I head to the East Station here? And go talk to Janna about both of the bounties? Or do I head to the cops first and ask about the blaster? Um, let me ponder that while I take a break and insert a little bit of a cut. So, uh, the, this will be the end of the YouTube episode and for the live stream, hang tight. There's plenty more to do. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.